Guys, I got 10 simple rules to help you live in boot camp. What's up, everybody? It's your host, Kurt Jagoon. And guys, in today's PUBG Mobile video, we're going to be dropping a boot camp. And we're going to show you 10 simple rules to help you live longer and defeat boot camp. Probably, I'd say, 70% of the time. Let's just be optimistic. There's, there's, uh, there is times, though, that you can follow all the rules and still die. But, but, you know, for the most part. Now, obviously, none of these rules are like win your gun battles or nothing like trivial like that. I mean, it's, well, grab guns fast. Well, obviously, that I, I say that, and then all of a sudden, I got a trivial rule like that. But sorry about that. But anyway, when you land, you want to loot as quick as possible. Obviously, that's... That is a trivial rule, but sorry about that. But anyway, you want to land and start killing your opponents just as quick as you can. I put fire on that guy. And I'm not going to jump ahead of myself. I've got several rules to go through. And here's uh, one of those win your gunfight deals. <laughs> I'm not going to use that one, by the way. So, you want to you land and get weapons ASAP. ASAP. <clears throat> you want to try to get armor. And you want to try to get your helmets, but I, that's not rules either. But I mean, that's just that's just being intelligent and playing the game right. Now this guy and me, that could ended that could ended rough for me. Spooks came in there. Uh, and finished him off, but that guy had a shotgun. Luckily, he missed his shot. But anyway, I'm just going to show you a lot of different engagements. Um, I played boot camp with some of my friends, my teammates, and we dropped hot over and over and over and over and over again to kind of put this video together. And I, I, um, Spooks is down, and he gets thirsted right here. Now, that's going to be lead into another rule but it, actually two rules right here come off of this engagement make them pay for your teammates now that sounds kind of cheesy guys but that's that's kind of one of my rules like um anytime any of my teammates die um it is for me i don't care about winning after that i want to make them pay for killing my teammate so that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So yes, he paid for, for killing spooks. Um, this will lead into another rule as well. I, I got to be so careful. There's so many rules coming up. that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. So close. Yeah, I tried. there's a couple of engagements I did that were a little bit on the outside fringes of boot camp. Uh, but that kind of goes into another rule as well. But I tried to take all these videos and chop them off once we left boot camp. <clears throat> I just wanted, and this is all TPP, guys. Um, every bit of these videos are TPP. I did do some FPP videos as well. But for the most part... I kept this TPP. I wanted to keep it simple. Uh, I could do another boot camp rules in FPP uh, because obviously the rules do change a bit for FPP. <laughs> I have no idea what that's about. Oh, it's about this here. That's in the wrong place. This guy laying down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My editor did that. I put it in the right place. Anyway, that's now I'm afraid that all my stuff. Oh, taunting. Uh, yes, taunt your teammates if, or taunt your enemies if you wish. But that's not that's not one of the rules. Now an enemy has announced his presence, right? So you want to ambush. So use ambush tactics uh, while in boot camp, and that goes pretty much in TPP. 
for the most part. That is a TPP only rule. Pro lean for the win. Uh, and, and that basically means uh, use your windows, guys. Use your high ground to uh, pro lean. Make, make yourself a small target and try to take advantage of the height and the enemy's lack of knowing where you are. Uh, obviously, once you fire, everybody in boot camp is going to know about where you are. Um, this here um, is on the outskirts of boot camp, guys. But this will go into another rule basically about clearing boot camp but you know it's it i can't really talk about it right now but we're just kind of pushing out at this point um but stay close together and push together and that's in any any type of situation in boot camp if you're obviously if you're solo that doesn't apply but this here um anytime that you're working together through boot camp it is very easy to get knocked and so that situation where Spooks got thirsted, um, I was not close to him. Therefore, he died because of that. Uh, so, um, in, in this situation, as you see, we're working together. We're staying close together. And that way, if one of us goes down, the other can revive. And that's what you need to do in boot camp. Stay close together. Push together. Don't try to be a hero. Now, it gets a little confusing at the beginning, um, and I must admit, it does get a little confusing. There we go. Now we're going to go, well, we're going to finish off this, apparently. But this is on the outskirts, and another ambush tactic for P TPP. Alright, so we're back in boot camp. That's the way we should keep it. Here, uh, we're landing again. You're going to see us land. And on this, uh, me, and, me and Spooks want to push to the middle. And so, suppressive fire um, before you push. And, and I've knocked one of their teammates. So, therefore, uh, they are busy right now trying to revive him. And they're not paying attention to me. And there we go. Now, as you see, Turd, this is Turd with me this time. And, guys, we played we played boot camp so many times. Oh, man. That guy right there, he almost got me. And what happened there, guys, and that's something I want to talk about, too. It's not necessarily a, a, a rule or anything, but that guy almost got me for one reason. He was moving. I was the static target. Um, movement. Movement. If you're if you're a moving target, uh, it's harder to hit you. All right, so always listen and predict enemy movement. Now, right there, I wasn't paying attention. Now I seen it on this TV screen, but at the time, I was actually talking with Turd and looking at Turd on my screen. And here, this guy comes, and I'm using an ambush tactic, but it goes along with with basically just listening. Um, try to try to listen out and predict the pathing of your enemy. It makes your ambushes so much easier. Use grenades, guys, uh, to get your enemy away from windows so that you can move. Easy movement then. And you can push. So that guy had to get away from that window and my teammate can push at this point if he wants to. Or we've reset in this case, we've reset, and that guy, if he comes back to the window, um, we're going to have eyes on him. But right now, Turd's pushing him. He actually waited a little bit too long. He didn't realize that I was throwing a Kobe, and now that guy's up and out, and I didn't even see it when I was on the roof. Uh, so I've exposed myself to that guy on the roof, but Turd sees him and takes him down. I got, I got two guys here. 
Watch this. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's got... Guys, I'm telling you. I pulled that lucky rabbit's foot out of my pocket after that engagement. I have used it up. That was... That was it. Oh, man. That was... That was crazy. That was literally crazy. I should have been dead right there. Here's another ambush tactic. Use that TPP to look around your, uh, you know, look around objects you're hiding behind, and obviously dart out at the right time, or or just pro lean, guys. Honestly, pro lean is the best, but be aggressive. And I'm gonna let a lot of this play at this point on aggression. Aggression um, is super important because you got movement, which is what I was talking about before. Now, do you see? how that guy got killed right there I was moving and I was able to spin around and take and hide to the side while I was aiming at him he wasn't able to track me as well I had the initiative so I won the gunfight same thing here this is gonna be another aggressive moment like I know you guys like the aggression that's 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 and you might disagree you might say you can't but I'm aggressive I'm an aggressive player and that's uh, that's what I like to do here Thirst everybody. Thirst them all. That guy had a DP. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm out of bullets. Yeah, baby. Goon's feeling it right now, guys. Now, my buddy, my buddy Turd there. I think that's Turd, is it? Yeah, it's Turd. He's, he's got banged up again, guys. I'm going to rescue Turd just like he rescues me. We look out for each other. So I hear somebody, right? There's a lot of action going on. And me and Turd are going to have to... Um, we've got a whole squad here, guys. So we, we've got to figure out our next move here. We're going to health up. I know those guys are up. They, they rest them already. I mean, there's no need for us to, uh, to kind of push into the gun barrels. Right there. Um, knock the guy. Turd's going in. And I'm going to go in as well. There you go. He killed the one I knocked. They didn't even res him? Man, those guys are douches, bro. They're like, these guys are pushing us. We can't res you right now. Shut up. I guarantee you that was the comms. If, the, if it was probably randoms, no comms, more than likely. But anyway. Ahead. Why wait? Just pop out, ambush him, be done with it, move on. Now this engagement here, if this is the one I'm thinking about, was pretty intense. No, nope, this is not it. This is me and Red. Me and Red were in a pretty intense engagement in the warehouses. And yeah, that guy didn't have a chance, bro. He didn't have a chance. How we're working together, that's what I'm saying. Stay together, push together. Uh, this is super important. And aggressive right there. I just I just made that guy fold. Just pushed right up into him, made him fold. And that's what happened there. Oh, I thought I thought that was somebody. I'm embarrassed now. 
Uh, so right now I'm down to 22 rounds. I gotta be careful. Now me and Turd is, has got too far away from each other again, honestly. We've gotta be very careful about that. Um, if you get like all the way across the middle building. Oh man. Yeah, that was that was a, another surprise. He surprised me. I surprised him. Uh, we both kind of danced there. He he didn't get it, bro. So he, he was down. Now, right here, I'm looting, but I've left turd again. Um, you know, turd is up there, and be being that I've fell like or went so far away from him if he drops right now from a push he's gonna die but if he gets knocked from a snipe or something like that I, I can get him I can get him and I thought somebody was there therefore I was kind of hanging there for a minute but mmm they can yummy Oh, look at this guy. He's got, he's got to be AFK. That guy had to be AFK. There's no way he didn't hear me coming. A turd has been knocked. And I just hit that guy to kind of make him hide for a minute. And I'm going to go revive Turd. So that's what I was saying about a knock. I mean, like a knock from, you know, a snipe or whatever from across. You can, you can res him, but if a full-on push happens and you're as far away as we were, it's ripped a dream, baby. Now right here, um, you know, I'm just trying to clear the outlying areas right now. The, the two-time scope really kind of is rough on a sniper. But I hear a noise and take him down. And he really didn't have anything for me. Kind of sad days, really. I just heard suppressed fire. <clears throat> you hear that? Always have you listening ears on. That guy did. He did not have his listening ears on. I'll be listening again. Now I'm smoking right here. I want to go loot that guy. But then I hear something. Sorry, Brian. I'm going to loot you too. Ooh, a VSS. Mmm. Right now, I don't need the VSS. I got a M24. Alrighty. Enemies ahead. Alright, so me and Turd, uh, communication. I didn't write like communication up there, but that's obviously a huge key communication 
talking with your teammate is by far Enemies one of the ahead. best oh I miss that dude one of the best things you can do we both hit that guy he hit him with a car I hit him with a m24 and we didn't kill this guy man come on like, that's insane clear boot camp before leaving that was something that you I didn't want to say it but that's one of the things like take the time to look around boot camp on the outlying hills um, over there by those houses after the warehouses, over by the water towards Panam, over by the warehouses. Make make sure that you've tried to clear out before you leave because once you get done killing everything in boot camp, you've got to leave boot camp. And that's usually when you're at your most vulnerable, when you're leaving. Because you're running for a long distance. If there's snipers, they'll take you down. Oh, look at that. Get some of that M24, baby. Boom. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Headshot, baby. All right, so. And those guys were pushed by the blue. Feel kind of dirty about it, but, you know, not really. Not really. And this here is landing. Uh, like we say under that rule number one, grab a gun, have fun, push the pace, get everybody down as quick as possible. Hear all that movement? He uh, he was definitely in a bad way. He tried to keep moving. Oh, look at this guy! I kept moving. I didn't want to stop. Then I'm gonna turn around. Oh, I got a guy in front of me. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see him, guys. Yeah, I didn't even see that guy. Wow, he hid from me, though. I got a guy right here, and I tried to stay behind this beam. And I I kind of felt like that was a party foul, but it's okay. Red's going to get me here. This is me and Red right here. But that either that guy didn't see me in that door, or he didn't want to engage. I, I'm not sure. He didn't have a gun. I don't know. He should have engaged. So I'm going to go up here even without medding up, and I was going to help Red take this guy down, but he didn't need any help. Look at all these crates, guys. We're stacking them up. Me and Red, good gracious, man. I'm telling you right now. Go gaming. My man. Somebody just got knocked right there. Oh, he was weak. He was weak. And I'm going to thirst him right quick, guys. Probably should have just knocked this off of auto. I didn't want to take the time. I got supplies. Now notice I keep going back to those crates uh, and looting. I oh, I hear something. You hear that? There he is, right there. Now he was already dead, but uh, I took him out. <clears throat> or actually, Red Red killed those guys. I'm sorry. I was trying to steal somebody's kill. I didn't know who it was. All right, so at this point, um, me and Red are going to start pushing out. And and typically when I do boot camp, guys, I try to get down quicker than everybody else. I try to take the middle because the middle commands air, the whole area. And I want to take that. I want to take the middle. Oh, my goodness. Did y'all see that flare shoot up? I did. Now we're gonna cut. We're gonna run into a cool engagement here in a minute. I'm actually gonna push forward, and I'm gonna 
move too far away from my teammate. And this is my fault right here. Um, I actually get away from red. And even though I'm a warehouse, only a warehouse away, he gets engaged. He gets knocked right here. I got to come back. He gets thirsted. It's too late. It's too late. If I'd have been there, I could have rescued him. But now, I got to make him pay. So he's got some teammates right there. Me and this guy's dancing a little bit. And his other teammate's going to come to my left. <clears throat> I couldn't stay there long because the other guy was going to sideswipe me. He tried to pro jump on me. Come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. So that was a pretty good engagement, guys. If you notice how I utilized the middle, uh, that middle um, section in there to, to take him out. But guys... Uh, there's 10 simple rules, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys got looked it over, and maybe it'll help you out next time you're in boot camp. If you follow the simple rules, guys, uh, I can't list them all, obviously, because, you know, I can't remember them all. But the main thing is, guys, ultimately, uh, in boot camp, especially if you're playing with a teammate, is support your teammate. Stay close to your teammate. And that's why that last engagement, I wanted to show that, because I got too far away. Even though it's just a warehouse, guys, that's all it takes in boot camp to die. It only takes a short space for your teammate to be thirsted. If I was closer, I could have turned in there and killed that guy or knocked him or even just put suppressive fire to save my teammate. But ultimately, it's all about trying to win boot camp. So hopefully these rules help you guys. And with that being said, let me know in the comments what you think. Definitely uh, like the video subscribe to the channel, and recommend me to your friends, guys. And with that being said, I'm out of here.